Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead and I'm going to show you how I make a cheese and hemp heart sandwich. Alright, so what you're going to need is real simple. You're going to need the cheese of your choice. I like medium to old or sharp cheddar. Two slices of bread. This is my homemade bread and it's made with two-thirds all-purpose flour and one-third teff flour and we're going to put those in the toaster and you're going to need some butter and a cheese grater and you're going to need hemp hearts first toast your bread now I know this is a really simple video it's making a sandwich but people have been asking me how I eat hemp hearts and I'm telling you folks they're not as crunchy as nuts they're milder but they taste like nuts they're just you could eat them with a spoon they're so good but <clears throat> some of the things you need to know they're high in your omega fatty acids that uh, that are helpful for you they're they're high I'll, I'll, I'll print a list of of their uh, their properties but don't ever cook them because you lose a lot of the nutritional properties of your hemp hearts if you cook them so if you have say a bowl of cereal sprinkle some on top if you have spaghetti and you're going to put Parmesan cheese on, put on some hemp hearts. If you're making a potato salad, throw it in the mayo. I mean, there are many, many, many ways. Sprinkle it on top of your salad. But preferably, I like it two ways. I like it with toast and honey. Sprinkle the hemp hearts on top. If you like toasted peanut butter and honey, you're going to love honey and hemp hearts. Trust me, you're going to love it. But this is my all-time favorite, which is cheese and hemp hearts on toast. It's real simple, really delicious, and has the added benefits of being extremely healthy. Okay, our toast is ready, and it's best to do this while it's hot. So we're gonna take some butter, and we're just gonna butter our toast. Now, this isn't exactly how you have to do it, but folks, this is the way I like it. So you butter your toast, and yes, folks, butter, not margarine. And you just take your hemp hearts and you put a four finger sprinkle on there and you just gently spread it out to cover the bread. Then you take your cheese grater and with the smallest side you just set it right over the toast because it holds it in place. Now if you slice your cheese go, you can go right ahead but I use less cheese if I grate it and I just give it three, oops, four, five, six, seven grates of the cheddar cheese, which works out to about a quarter of an inch of your cheese if it was sliced. And I just put it all on top like a little nest. And I add another four finger pinch of hemp hearts. It's really good. Okay, let's do some more because I'm really a junkie about these things. And trust me, it's a junkie for good things. Then we butter our second piece of toast. And just pop it on top and cut. Now, folks, you can cut your sandwich in four. I like to cut mine in nine because it makes it last longer. Okay, this is what it looks like, and this is what it tastes like. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's a party in your mouth. I'm not kidding. Cheese and hemp heart sandwich on homemade bread. You cannot go wrong. Trust me. Try it. You'll love it. I promise you. We've convinced Nan Wolfie to try a cheese and hemp heart sandwich. She doesn't like trying anything new. That's not bad at all. Very good. Awesome. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead no. saying, cheese and hemp heart sandwiches. One more way of getting your protein, your fiber, and your omegas. Bye-bye.